In this video, we will create this anime opening in Wondershare Filmora. First, import your footage and place it on track 1. Locate the suitable point where you want to split the footage and make the initial split. Repeat this process to create additional splits according to the different scenes in your footage. Keep the smaller splits as they are, but move the longer split a few frames forward. Next, position the playhead at the starting position and navigate to the effects section. Apply the BCC scanline effect by Boris FX to all the smaller split parts. Then select the first split part, go to the video options, and add an opacity keyframe. Set the opacity to 0% at the first frame, and at the 21st frame, change the opacity to 100%. Move the playhead to the start of the second split part. Add an opacity keyframe and set it to 0%. After 4 frames, change the opacity to 100%. Towards the end of this split part, change the opacity to 40%. Now position the playhead at the 29th frame. Go to the scanline settings and add a keyframe for the thickness. After 3 frames, change the thickness to 0. And at the end of this split part, change the thickness to 100. Proceed to select the third split part. At the start of this split, change the opacity to 35. After 2 frames, change it to 100%. 3 frames before the end, add a blank opacity keyframe, and at the end, change the opacity to 40%. Similarly, create additional opacity keyframes for the remaining small split parts using different values based on your footage or requirements. At the last small split part, add a transform keyframe at the beginning. Then at the end of this split part, change the scale to 160, and adjust the value of the scanline to create a fade-in scanline effect. Position the playhead at 6 seconds and 3rd frame. Import the second clip with different shots onto track 2 at the playhead position. Split the clip according to the scenes. Select the first split part, go to the mask options, and choose the circle shape. Adjust the circle height and width to 50, and increase the blur strength. Then go to the basic setting, increase the scale, and move it out of the frame towards the left side of the screen. Add a transform keyframe, and after 10 frames, reset the position and adjust it to the left side of the screen. Go back to the mask and continue adjusting it to remove any visible edges from the footage. Next, place the playhead at the end of the split part and add an opacity keyframe. Go back 10 frames and add another opacity keyframe. Then go to the last keyframe and change the opacity to 0% to make it gradually fade out. To create a shaky effect, go to the effects section, then to video effects, and select shake. Apply the extreme shake effect to track 2's first split part. Move the playhead to the second last keyframe and shift the second split part from track 2 to track 3 at the playhead position. Go to the mask options and choose the circle shape. Adjust the width and height accordingly. Then go to the video options, increase the scale, and move it out of the screen towards the right side. After 10 frames, reset the position and adjust it on the right side of the screen. Continue adjusting the mask to fit the footage. 10 frames before the end, add an opacity keyframe, and at the end, change the opacity to 0% for a gradual fade-out effect. Now move the playhead to the second last keyframe again, and shift the third split part back to track 2 at the playhead position. Repeat the same steps as before for this remaining split part. Next, copy and place the same clips in a random way on tracks 2 and 3. However, this time, reduce the duration of the clips to make the movement faster. If needed, adjust the position from right to left or left to right to create more dynamic visuals. Position the playhead at 9 seconds and 5th frame. Import the periodic table footage onto track 4 at the playhead position and change the blend mode to screen. You can easily create a mask and add different shakes to the periodic table image. Next, apply the shake effect to all the split parts on tracks 2 and 3. Then select the periodic table clip and split it every 1 second. Apply the Chaos 2 shake effect alternately to each split part. Place the playhead at 11 seconds and 13th frame. Import the Breaking Bad PNG or any PNG image onto track 4. Split it at 13 seconds and 26th frame and delete the rest of the part. Position the playhead at the start of the Breaking Bad clip. Go to the effects section and apply the Dream Glow effect. Change the color to green and adjust the glow and blur settings. 
Then, apply the Dream Glow effect again, change the color to orange, and adjust the glow and blur accordingly. Go to the video options, set the opacity to 0% at the start, and after 2-3 to three seconds, change the opacity to 100%. In the effects section, at the end of the clip, change the blur to 0 on the green Dream Glow effect, and 5 on the orange Dream Glow effect. Also, adjust the glow intensity as desired. Apply the Extreme Shake effect on Frequency keyframe. At the second last keyframe, change the frequency to zero. You can add additional shakes as needed. Go to the Stickers section, and under the Smoke folder, apply the Fast Smoke effect on Track 2. Adjust the duration of the smoke, and use the color options to change the smoke color to yellow. Apply the S-Log 3 effect. Change the effect opacity to 30, and then apply the Sharpen effect. Now let's render it to see the final preview. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.